This is going to be my first time using one of these blades right here today, but it's got three different adjustments to it. This blade can pivot side to side this way, just like most rear blades can do, but it can also tilt this way. So you can kind of pitch it if you want to do a ditch and it can also kind of shift the whole way over one way or another. But there's a lot of adjustments on this rear blade. This is just one of the offerings from Dirt Dog. We sell a lot of attachments by those guys. They're down in Georgia. We sell and ship their attachments all over the country. Now, the smaller blades that they sell for like the subcompacts, your 1025, your BXs, maybe even your two series size are not gonna necessarily have all of these adjustments. You can see, I hope it shows through in the pictures, but this thing is built like a tank. Um, but the bigger you go, the bigger machines are gonna potentially have more adjustments to them as well. So you'll see this is a 7,000 series blade, but this is eight foot wide. Our tractor, our four series is about seven foot wide, which is a foot wider than standard, all right? And one thing you wanna always remember or think about when you're buying an attachment like a rear blade, and that could be the same thing for a plow blade up front, is that when they angle, when you turn them a little bit, they're not gonna be as wide. And so you wanna have something that's wider than the width of your machine so that when you narrow it up, it's still gonna cover your footprint. So as you can see, they are gonna be quick hitch compatible. When you get to these bigger series, you're gonna see two sets of pins and holes up here, bigger and smaller and that means they're going to be compatible with category one and category two once you start to get a little bit bigger than this series of tractor you're going to start to see category two three point hitches so that's important you want to be aware of that now i don't have a lot of experience with a rear blade and in fact i did a video not too long ago saying I can't think of many uses when I would pick a rear blade over a box blade or a land plane. Now, some folks were quick to point out, and I forgot about that, but it is a good solution to use that for clearing snow. It's an easy, it's a relatively cheap attachment too, right? And it's easy just to hang on the back and you can drop it down and go, even if you want to do cleanup passes. And we got a little bit of snow out here and we have some dirt. So we're gonna use this for both of them. We're kind of expanding the turn on our drive. When you come off the road, like with a truck and a trailer, it's, it's like a 180, you're, you're turning right around. And so we're just trying to open that up and make it easier for our trucks to stay on the gravel and get up here. And so we're gonna scrape off the topsoil that's over here and then bring in some gravel. And as I gave it some thought, I think this could actually be better than a box blade for this application. I'm gonna to try to angle it a bit and see if I can kind of peel that topsoil off over to the side. If this was not so wet and nasty conditions, I would try to till it up and have it a nice fine mulch and just scoop it out of there. But sometimes you just have to get projects done when you need to get them done. You can't wait for spring or summer to come around. We had a busy summer out here, so we're gonna tackle this now I don't know, maybe it'll all be for naught. Maybe it'll be a waste of time. We have to redo it later on, but there's only one way to find out. So a few other features to point out really quick. You may see some holes that are kind of along both edges of this, and that is gonna be for bolt-on like closure wings or end panels. So if you wanted to treat it almost a little bit more like a box blade, you could do so, I suppose. And then you're gonna see this bolt-on edge down here. That edge is reversible. So if you wear through one side, you can unbolt it, flip it over and use the other side. The other good thing about that is if you want to use this for your driveway the winter time and say you have a paved or a concrete driveway and you don't want to mess it up with the steel edge you can unbolt this and we sell a hard plastic called uhmw that you can bolt on in its place it's going to be a very protective material but still scrape well and so having that kind of versatility can make a difference a couple final things as well number one you will see this parking stand here which is always nice to have that included and then this looks like it's a hydraulic cylinder but it is not this is a uh, just the, the manual adjustment that you can get to offset the whole thing to one side or the other you can pull this whole um, contraption out and put it on the other side and extend it out that way if you want but you do have the option on the bigger series i think it's a 7000 and the 9000 series where you can add on hydraulic options so if you want to do everything right from your operator station just plug in your hydraulics after you get the cylinders make those adjustments on the fly <laughs>
first look at it there, not too bad given the conditions, I don't think. You got a few uneven areas here, but you know, we had uh, uh, taken out some big, big bushes, big overgrown shrubs and a few small trees and everything too. And so that's just where those root masses are still underneath the ground. So when we, <laughs> when we hit those, you could see this thing kind of bog down and stop and just spin the wheels. And I think between that and then there's certain areas where the ground was more frozen or frozen deeper than other areas. And um, when it would hit a soft patch, it would start to kind of maybe cut down a little deeper on evenly and then kind of ride back up to the frozen area. Again, we're not dealing with ideal circumstances. We're just trying to get the project done when we have the time and when we need to get it done. And overall, I'm impressed by it. Uh, this blade works really well. You have a lot more adjustment. I thought maybe I would do some more playing around with the, the different angles and the pitch and the tilt, but I think it worked pretty good with the original setup that I had. Again, we're just widening this turnaround area here. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, but we just want to scrape it down, get enough of that topsoil out to bring in you know, probably six, eight inches of, uh, of gravel on top of there and just get a nice compact base. And again, this is a, a wider blade, so it kind of validates, hopefully you can see that in the video, when you have it angled a bit, it's gonna narrow it up and you still wanna cover those tracks and this worked well for the application. Really, that's about all there is to say. You know, it's a pretty simple product as far as they go. Um, rear blades are typically gonna be cheaper than box blades and land planes as well, so maybe a little bit more versatile. Again, you could use this for snow too. So check that out if you want more information. Just go to the website goodworkstractors.com you know if your tractor's 60 inches wide get a 72 inch blade if your tractor's 72 inches wide get an 84 inch blade you know you, you kind of get the idea you little subcompact owners you're gonna have a four foot wide tractor just get a five foot wide blade if you have experience or other applications pros and cons of these rear blades i'd love to know about it so would others so leave a comment down below if you did enjoy today's video i'd love to get a thumbs up from you make sure you hit subscribe to see more tractor videos and if you want something for your machine check out goodworkstractors.com thanks so much for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon Thank you.